Hi kaibigan! Welcome sa The Pageant TV. Huwag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe at ihit ang notification bell para update ka sa mga video na gagawin ko. You are amazing in your swimwear candidate number! You probably guess it right! Number one! Congratulations to our best in swimsuit. Our last major award for tonight is best in lockout. And the most elegant and stunning lady in her evening gown is candidate number. Francisco Rico Atula. Recipient of the best in Long Yang Award. You look stunning tonight. And of course, to all the supporters, the parents, friends of our candidates here, you really help them boost their confidence. So, ayan, <laughs> to all the cheers, maraming maraming salamat po on behalf of the candidates that really made them feel more at ease, more confident, more empowered as they struck the runway. So, thank you so much and uh, let's keep that energy. Okay. Keeping up with the momentum, I think it's time. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We will announce our top five finalists. We finally have the results. Let us be captivated with the top five candidates who are still running to become the new Panagiusa Festival Queen. And this is well tabulated by our staff from the accounting office to make it sure that we have the correct, legit results for tonight. First to enter the top five is...
this evening. Clevernos, are you excited? Of course, we now come to the most important, most anticipated, and of course, the exciting part of any competition. The final interview, of course, this is a test of candidates' cleverness in answering present questions and to liberally show their grace under pleasure. Please know that the results from this segment will comprise 50%, Michael. That's 50% po of the final score. So, napaka-importante po ng part na to, as this will determine, this will secure their placement for tonight. So, I'm sure there will be a lot of judges from the audience and for those who are watching at the comforts of their homes. As you said, 50%, but this is your favorite part of the competition. <laughs> so, I assume that everyone's really, really excited. So, for the final interview, the organizer asked the help of the netizens in coming up with the final question through its Facebook page. Literally, guys, literally hundreds of possible questions were actually suggested, but only one made it to tonight's segment. And 
it's inside this envelope. Oh, the final question is there. And alam po namin gano kabait how respectful Clavernons are. Let's please refrain from making unnecessary comments, unnecessary noise that will interrupt our candidates from formulating her answer. And now you may cheer from them for them after they answered the question. So reminder, Paul, let's cheer right after the question so that we would be able to give them an ample time to collect their thoughts. So I believe that we'll be asking just one question. So maybe ask our uh, friends from uh, the sounds and lights. So you please put our headphones. There you go. As the first candidate will have to deliver her answer, maybe call in candidate number one from PGMC. it feel that you're part of our top five finalists? Well, I was quite surprised since this is my first pageant. Wow! Imagine first pageant! Yes, alam mo Michael, meron talagang luck pag mga first timer. First time ko rin in Bini Bini. And uh, <laughs> we made it, Mindanao. So I believe in your destiny. I will share the energy to you. <laughs> Wait, let me just say, not just in Mindanao, but ladies and gentlemen, she won all over the world. Thank you. Yeah, and maraming salamat po. Allow me to personally thank all of you. Alam kong naging parte po kayo ng journey ko. Naging kasama ko po ang Surigao del Norte at ang buong Pilipinas. So maraming maraming salamat po from the bottom of, of my heart. And also to your future queen, I know na buong puwersa po ang support ng Surigao del Norte para sa kanya. Maybe in Miss Universe because we have Miss Shamsi here. So yes, yung support po talaga, it really means so much. So let's keep it up. <laughs> so I believe that your energy has now been channeled to our beautiful candidates. So are you ready to answer the question? Be ready. We will be reading the question twice. twice. Candidate number one. Your question is being submitted online by Anne Ortiz. So to Anne, thank you for your question. If you're watching us via live stream, Anne, your question reads, How will you distinguish Panagiusa Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Again, how will you distinguish Panaki Usa Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Good evening everyone. Well actually, Panaki Usa Festival is different from other festival since the title itself, which is translated in English, means unity. It hopes that in a diverse community, we have one goal to promote cover to give pride of clubber, which the slogan gives Garbona Clubber Thank you very much, candidate number one from BGMC. Alright. And now we want to hear her thoughts. Let's call on candidate number three from Hayang Gabon. So you've mentioned earlier that, you know, our next Miss Universe might come from uh, Claver. Are you guys excited for that? You'll never know. Pero don't fret, ah. There's a lot of uh, handsome uh, gentlemen. May mga ginuking palapaklat ng guwapo. Oh. Next year, we will also be searching for the next Mr. International Philippines. So I hope lahat ng mga handsome dyan na dito sa Calavera yan. Please, take your uh, luck with this competition. Hello! Good evening to you, candidate number three. How are you feeling right now? 
I feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed because... Where are the supporters of candidate number three? Dying on supporters, what would you like to tell them, candidate number three? Thank you so much for being here today. It, it was such... Um, uh, grateful to have you here to support me. Yes, are your parents here also? Are they watching? What would you like to tell to your mama and your papa? I see mother! Hi, mommy! <laughs> Hello, mother! Yeah, no. Ganda! Magandang dilag si mommy eh! Same kami ng hair, oh! <laughs> Salamat, karajaw ma, pa. Very short but very sweet, heartfelt message. Thank you, candidate number three. Okay, now we will be asking the final question. Now we'll be reading the question twice. Are you ready? Here is the question. How will you distinguish Panaghiusa Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Again, how will you distinguish Panaghiusa Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines. Panaghiusa Festival here in Clover is such a unique one. Why? Because as we could, as we have heard that Panaghiusa Festival here in Clover means or reflects Panag uh, Magkahiusa, which um, reflects Clavernons and also Clavers. Claver. It is different from the other uh, festival um, activities because of um, a good leader that we have, a responsible institu instituents which um, becomes the way why Clover becomes a progressive one. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number three from Hayang Gaboy. There you go. Thank you so much, candidate number three. Up next, we have candidate number four representing Bagakai. in her fiery red outfit tonight. I know, very amazing creation. We really have talented local designers here in Calaver Suriga. Wow, you look stunning. Candidate number four, how does it feel that you made it? I'm overwhelmed right now since I didn't expect that I'll enter the top five. Candidate number four, how was your journey in Panaghiusa Festival Queen Pageant? Would you like to, to share with us what were your activities? How was your relationship with the girls? I really enjoyed this journey of me not only because so not only because I entered this for the first time. This is my first ever pageant ever and I'm so overwhelmed that I met such uh, beautiful ladies and uh, I enjoy every activities that we did every time that we're having a photo shoot in every place and every beautiful places here in Melbourne. That's amazing because candidate number four, you got to enjoy all those advantages of meeting our beauties as well as of course, pumunta rin kayo sa top destinations, right? So you get to experience magnificence of Agusa, of Surigao del Norte. Kapat bahay niyo pala yung Agusa. Nadaanan kasi namin. Sana may hosting tayo doon, Mike. Yes, so mga nanonood po dyan. And anyway. This is your first time joining a competition. Cindy is channeling her energy to you. Yes, first time. Marami sila. Share, share na lang. Happy, happy sa energy. Yeah. So we want you to relax and we will be asking you your final question. We'll be reading the question twice. twice. Are you ready? You're ready? Candidate number four. She's very excited. Candidate number four, here is your question. How will you distinguish Panakiusa Festival from the other festivals in the country. 
How will you distinguish Panagi Usa Festival from the other festivals in the country? Panagi Usa Festival, we are celebrating right now this festival to, uh, to celebrate every hard work of every Clovermans in, in Surigao del Norte. And this, is, this festival is representing every Every this festival is representing every three spots that we have here in Clover. And it is to represent every three spot, not only locally but also internationally. So we are here right now in this pageant to end this to end this festival with a beautiful Ending. That's all, and I thank you. Thank you, candidate number four. Thank you so much, representing Bagai. And now let's move on to our candidate number nine, representing Taganito. Down to our last two candidates for tonight. Hello, candidate number nine. You look so regal. Candidate number nine. Candidate number nine. How was your journey in Panaki Usa Festival Queen. Did you enjoy? Of course, were you able to meet best friends along the way? Um, actually, Panaki Usa Festival, uh, joining this Panaki Usa Festival Queen is put me through a lot of hardships and it, it taught me to be, uh, it taught me to be strong and valiant like my father's name wow that's very interesting you know she was able to correlate her father's name to her experience here valiant oh his father's name is valiant oh i th i'm i'm sure that you're taking inspiration from your father he's here tonight and of course you're making him proud candidate number six He's very proud of your achievements right now. You made it to the top five. Let's all cheer for candidate number six. Yeah, you see those people, they are supporting you. Number nine, rather, sorry. <laughs> so are you ready? Candidate number nine? Very ready. That's the spirit. <laughs> all right, so I will be reading the question twice. And here we go. How will you distinguish Panagi Usa Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Again, how will you distinguish Panagi Usa Festival from other festivals in the Philippines? Clover is my beloved hometown and I really cherish every memory I have with my family here in Clover. I would say that Panagi Usa Festival is a celebration where we could be gathered together to enjoy the cultures and traditions what in, in what we have here in Clover. And this event is a proof that we have already achieved um, Panagi Usa. And this wouldn't be uh, made possible if it weren't because of my beloved Clover nuns. And I believe that we are all united here tonight, I mean, in this event, for one aim. And that is to provide a peaceful place to live in, to all Clover nuns, and most especially to the younger ones. That could be all, but thank you. Thank you very much. Valiantly answered candidate number nine from Taganito.
Very beautiful answer. Candidate number nine, up next we have candidate number 10, representing TMC. Ang sanyo mga taga TMC, ayun. He's our last candidate to answer the question from Anne Ortiz. Once again, thank you so much, Anne Ortiz, for your question for tonight. Cindy, baka nandito si Anne, no? Nandito ba si Anne tonight? Dito si Anne. Ayan ba? For sure na nanonood. We are live po on Facebook, so you may want to share our live stream. Naka-live po tayo through Municipality of Clover Facebook page. Hello, candidate number 10. How are you feeling right now? Excited. Very much excited and we are also excited to hear your answer. But before that, is there anyone that you would like to thank this night? Of course, I have. Uh, first off, my company, Taganito Mining Corporation. Uh, my family and friends, even from Surigao, who are we here right now. Thank you so much. And also my handlers at the back. Thank you. Thank you so much to all her supporters and to each and every one of you. Napakadaming supporters are here. Yeah, and she's also one of the most decorated candidates tonight. So, excited ka na ba for your final question? Here is your question, candidate number 10. How will you distinguish Panaghi Usap Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Again, how will you distinguish Panaghi Usap Festival from the other festivals in the Philippines? Makakalikas ng gabi sa ating lahat. Well, a festival is a celebration of beliefs and Philippines is very diverse in beliefs and culture but what makes Panaki Usa Festival different is that uh, it is the celebration of people coming together, clever and coming together so that uh, working together so that whatever circumstance that we are facing we can conquer it. This is the essence of Garbo ng Klaber ang Panaki Usa ng Katawang Klaber na. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number 10 from TMC. And that concludes our final interview. Napaka-alukot ng girls natin. And for sure, with Panagiusa Festival, you put your, your comments on the map as one of the top tourist destinations in the side of Mindanao. So we are now giving uh, the weight of the competition towards our judges tonight. So I hope we'll be able to choose the rightful queen for the Panagiusa Festival. I'm sure that our judges right now are having a tough job <laughs> up ahead of them. But of course, we believe in the expertise of our panel. We would be able to come up with uh, our best set of winners for this year's Panaki Musa Festival Queen. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, please take a final look at our top five. Thank you very much ladies. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, let us all watch this.